Patrick, um, great, great speaking to you, man. I'm, I'm really excited to speak to you and, and kind of find out more and, and, and stuff like that. Where, where are you staying right now? Where are you quarantined? Uh, I'm in Playa del Rey, California. And how's, how is it for you? How's, how's life at home? Honestly, the, uh, the best advice I can give anybody is make sure you love your spouse because it's been <laughs> That's good advice, right? It's, I mean, it's been good for me. I feel like I'm working more. Um, yeah. People are respecting boundaries less, which I'm, you know, I'm fine with. I don't care. Uh, and I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, I just, you know, you used to be able to leave someplace to kind of put a bookmark on your day. And now you just, you don't have that, you know? So it's, uh, well, that's the thing, isn't it? Everyone just feels like you're at home. So you're just available all the time. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's one of the big things, isn't it? That that's kind of the key thing because I feel like they're in the same boat. You know what I mean? Every day is casual Friday. And uh, so like everybody's kind of in the same boat, just doing the same thing. So they think, oh, it's seven o'clock at night. Let me let me call Patrick real quick. And I'm eating dinner. I'd love to kind of find out more about about the guys. I mean, I I, I love that song. I love I love Novocaine. Oh, cool. um, Thank you. What like can you can you kind of give us a little bit of background on the story of the success of that song? Because I think the story is really interesting. Yeah, well, I mean, the I, I tell my label we were like an eight year overnight success because um, you know, we've been steady putting out music for eight years, you know, like just trying something didn't work, putting our own money into radio campaigns. It didn't work. So Novocaine was kind of like the perfect storm because right. it, it was, it was the song that we were pivoting, you know, uh, on the management side, we made a bunch of different changes to the business model, uh, imaging. I don't know if you, if you look from our, Oh, my dear Lord single, which is the one that came out right before that one, about a year before. And if you look at the styling from that, from that release to where we are with Novocaine, we did a 180. And right. that was all by design because we, we felt like, you know, we were making these kind of, you know, upbeat kind of energetic songs. And when you saw the band, you know, they were traditional rocker garb. You know, so it started with the, you know, transitioning on the image and all the visuals around the band. Um, yeah. And then I, I have to be like, what really did it was the belief from Sony Red in the single. Right. So they started working it in March of 2019. It's still on the charts. So. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing. You know, uh, it really is like Danny Bush and Scott Burton and those guys over there and, you know, independents like Billy Jean and, and Jennifer Liss and all them. I can't say enough good about, you know, them and, and the communication and what they've done. This really was like, I want to say it was the band. I want to say it was management. I want to say it was it, but it was everybody. It really took a village. Mm -hmm. The type of success like that, where it feels like it's cut, you know, people think it's like an overnight thing, but it's been built over eight years and, you know, and, and, it, and it feels like, it, you know, it's definitely taken like a whole team and everyone to do it. I mean, that, that to me is like the most rewarding, right? Yeah, I mean, well, I'll tell you the most rewarding part is the the distance and time traveled, you know, like that right. that really is because you know, for, on the on the management side, I've, you know, I've been involved with a lot of a lot of things that kind of got to the bottom of the hill but never got all the way up the hill. And you know, we we say it all the time like we're lifers, we're not going anywhere. There, you know, this the business yeah. will chew people up and spit them out. But if you're a lifer, you're a lifer. You just you recalibrate and you figure it out and you keep going. And that's what we've done. You adapt 100 percent Right. And so I, I feel like that to me is, you know, the most rewarding part is the fact we did it for, you know, together and we still like each other. You know, the band and I still I just talked to three out of five of them, uh, actually four out of five went on text like today. So like we talk right. every day. Uh, we're we're continuously involved in you know, the creative components and everything that we're doing, we're, you know, discussing future pro projects and how we continue, because this looks like we're going to be this way until at least 2021, some are saying 2022. So, you yeah. know, I mean, I think, I think it's forcing us, isn't it? It's forcing us, it's forcing us to kind of be more creative and come up with new ideas. And, you know, hopefully, hopefully once you go back to your quote unquote normal life, you'll have, you'll be, you'll have other ideas and other things that you probably didn't have before, like positive vehicles that you can use to kind of to keep building right yeah i think this is just going to add a bunch of like um bunch of tools to people's arsenals so where are the guys now so okay our bass player jared is in wisconsin with his girlfriend okay. uh okay. he didn't want to isolate with a bunch of dudes and uh <laughs> fair enough right fair enough. 
and yeah. uh, the rest of the guys are in Dallas Fort Worth. So they they so they were initially staying um, with Kyle, our lead singers. At their they were all kind of like together around this. Uh, Kyle's grandmother has an airport hangar. And that's kind right. of where okay. that, that was home base. She's a uh, OG, old school pilot. Um, really? Does she still fly? She still flies. Yeah, she's a. Uh, I, I think she? she's in her, like late late seventies. Really sharp, just wow, sharp. That is, that's incredible. So we had to move out of there because you know obviously we care and concern our care and concern for her supersedes anything else. Of course. So we have a, a second rehearsal spot. Um, and I don't know if you guys have watched our flat in the hump day, which was our pivot off the road. Um, we've been just building that thing week after week and it's been, it's been fun to watch and we're kind of expanding the format of it and looking to make it something sustainable beyond the pandemic. Got it. Okay. Again, I, I'm really glad to speak to you and I thank you for your time. So um, that's perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we're the unlikely candidates. We're just uh, in our underground bunker here in uh, Texas right now. <laughs> we're just gonna play a little song about, uh, you know, the pizza-stained Netflix binger and all of us. A little song called Novocaine. <laughs> change my ways she knows i'm never gonna change change yeah same old shit running my mouth until she busts my lid so many problems you can take your pick i know i'm never gonna change change yeah and what i am know what i know i'll let you down if you let me too close And what I am Know what I know You catch it running away Then you'll know Too close, and what I am, 